What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are rocking out with the Gen 2 Box Art Legendary. We got ourselves a Ho-Oh team for Regulation G. Now, when it comes to Ho-Oh, this Pokemon is very bulky and it actually hits decently hard, but it has a great ability of Regenerator and it's rocking the Assault Vest, making it a bit more bulkier on that special defensive side. I love Ho-Oh due to its typing, flying, and fire, gives us access to two very strong stat moves, Sacred Fire and Brave Bird. So those two are going to be our bread and butter, we're going to be doing some big time damage with those moves. The other two moves that this Pokemon is rocking is Terra Blast and EQ. Terra Blast turns into grass because we got that nice defensive Terra type for grass. We love it. But this team also features some other very strong Pokemon, such as Tornadus and Hitmontop. Tornadus and Hitmontop come into play as our support Pokemon, and both of them can set the sun for the rest of the squad. Him on top can fake out, Tornadus can also Tailwind. Again, a lot of support going on with both those Pokemon. But the other three Pokemon on today's team gonna be Fluttermane, Ogre Pond, and Walking Wake. And like I said, they all thrive out in the sun, doing some big time damage. And same thing with Oho, -Oh, Sacred Fire in the sun is massive damage. We're gonna be able to pick up KOs left and right. So that's pretty much the plan for today's video. Set up the sun, have these Pokemon come in the back end, get ripping. We love it. Guys, if you want to run the team for yourself, run the code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing Ho Oh in Regulation G. We're hopping into our first match. We're going up against a Sun team as well. They got Fluttermane, they got Entei, they got Walking Wake, they also have Torkoal. And then last but not least, they got Ursaluna and regular Zapdos. Not Galarian Zapdos, regular Zapdos. We love a good old regular Zapdos. But from here, I feel as they might set the sun, or maybe they might not, but I am going to go into Ho-Oh as our turn one lead. So Ho-Oh is going to come in here, and I think I might end up leading him on top. Just a solid Pokemon, can stop double hitting moves, can fake out this first turn as well. So that can be very beneficial for us, and then later set the sun if we need it. So I'm going to go into them. I'm also going to go into Fluttermane, I think. I do like its speed stat, and its special attack stat's always good, and then maybe just like Walking Wake. Walking Wake's solid. Walking Wake's real solid. Yeah, I like that the best. We're going to go Walking Wake. We're going to go Fluttermane here. We're locking it in. We're locking it down. They don't really have any big way of speed control. Maybe Fluttermane with Icy Wind or maybe Zapdos with Tailwind. But if they want to end up leading Zapdos, I'm just going to fake it out and start ripping up into it with Sacred Fire. That's the plan. Unless, say, they lead somebody else. But I love Ho-Oh here. I really do. I think Ho-Oh is just a solid Pokemon. Super bulky, great HP stat. Again, hits hard with Sacred Fire. Now put it in the sun. Even better. But they're going to go Entei and Torkoal. We're going to have to be, be forced to fake out Torkoal here. Which I don't mind. Do I EQ here as well? I could EQ. I could definitely EQ if I want to. I could definitely EQ just to get some damage drop off here. And I don't mind hitting my hit on top with EQ. Let's be honest here. I don't mind that. So I'm just going to go in the fake out here. We are going to go into an EQ. And we're going to look to just do some damage onto Entei and Torkoal. So out comes the Sacred Fire into this slot, and wow, that's big time damage. And we get burned. Of course we get burned. I wanted one more turn with my hit on top. Could have been great. Could have been great, and we are going to get it. I totally forgot this thing is rocking the berry. Nothing's better than when you forget about a berry and it comes in clutch. That's huge. So EQ is flying here. And actually, yeah, I forgot. I'm KO my, I'm KO my hit on top. All right, hit on top, you're gone. But hey, I'll take that damage output for a KO on my hit on top all day. Look at that. We got both of them down low. I could go into Fluttermane. None of you guys have Protect, which is kind of terrible. Not going to lie. It does kind of stink because I'd rather just start picking up KOs. And who should I go into here at this point? I mean, we're going to outspeed with both of them. And I honestly think Fluttermane is probably going to be the better option. Just because you can't get hit by E-Speed. And Entei could have E-Speed. So yeah, we're going to go into Fluttermane here. The so Fluttermane is going to pop out here. We're going to need to actually KO Torkoal and Entei. So I'm thinking maybe like a Brave Bird is probably our best bet into Torkoal. To KO it actually into Entei. And then just going into a Shadow Ball into Torkoal. Should be fine. This should be enough damage for us to KO. And honestly, maybe I should have Shadow Balled the, uh, the Entei, but this actually works fine. I mean, he's just going to protect the Torkoal. So Torkoal gets Protect. Shadow Ball is going to get blocked. Does Entei outspeed the Ho-Oh? I believe it does. I believe it already showed it. Outspeeding me. He's going to be able to go for a Snarl, which is actually tough news, man. Snarl is tough news for Fluttermane. Not for Ho-Oh, because Ho-Oh is physical attacking. So maybe we might want to swap Fluttermane. The Brave Bird going to fly here. We are going to finish you off. 
And, oh man, I really just, I wish I could have just popped the DQ there. I wish this Fluttermain had Protect. That'd be so huge. That would just protect EQ. Fluttermane could have been chilling with his special attack stat. And been fine. But Zapdos is going to come back out onto the field here. Um, I could Sacred Fire and just look to drop that. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to Sacred Fire that. And I'm going to swap into Walking Wake. Because if he's going for a fire move here, Walking Wake is Water and Dragon. It really resists fire super well. So I'm going to look to just survive Torkoal's shot. And then probably just, you know, KO it next turn with Walking Wake. The Thunderbolt's gonna fly through here. You should soak rather well with that Assault Vest, which you do. We love you, Ho-Ho. And Sacred Fire gonna fly in the sun. In the sun for some big time damage. And we get a burn. And we get a burn. So cool, they get a burn on me earlier. We get a burn on them now. And Heat Wave is gonna fly. So my Pokemon should be awesome here. Who's dodging that? It is gonna be Ho-Ho, which is totally fine. We soak rather well. They do end up getting a crit. So crit flies through here. We are sitting in a rather good position considering I can just outspeed. I can just outspeed. And to be honest, I'm going to go for a Brave Bird here. And I am just going to go for a Hydro Steam. Just outspeeding you, right? Yeah. Because Walking Wake in the sun is just way faster. And we'll see a Terra pop out here. So the Terra's going to come out here. Is this going to be Zapdos, maybe? It's going to be Torkoal. So Torkoal's going to Terrasalize into straight grass. And that's just game now. That's just game now. I was kind of worried if this Brave Bird would KO or not. But now that you're switching to grass, come on, man. You going. You're going to detect. That's totally fine. We are totally fine with that. And honestly, Sun might end soon. But even without Sun, I feel like my Pokemon, or my, my Protosynthesis Pokemon, outspeed. They're, they're just so fast. But Brave Bird cooking. I'm going to say bye-bye to Torkoal. Get it on out my face. And this Ho-Oh team, rocking out here early on. Except for my Hitmontop. I, I, I did that to myself. I did that to myself. But hey, I'd rather KO my own Pokemon than let my opponent KO Pokemon. Right? I know I'm right. I know I'm right, but Zapdos is going to take a little bit of burn damage. I think we have one more turn left in Sun. I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but I believe it's about one. Fluttermane is going to fly out here, which is a slight issue. We don't like this. We simply don't like this, and special attacks going to get boosted. I still have Terra, which is good, too. I do still have Terra. Um, from here, I'm actually just going to Terrasalize you in the water. I think Hydro seems our best bet. Just into this slot. I need to get some damage on the Fluttermane. Honestly, this match, it's going to be a close one. It's going to be a close one. So now we finally use our Terra. If they're going to Thunderbolt, I would hope it would be into... Ooh, I would hope it'd be into Ho-Oh, but honestly, it might not. It might not. Maybe we should just KO the, the Zapdos here. We might have... We probably should have just KO'd the Zapdos, but honestly, this works fine. He's going to end up going for a Helping Hand. This Dazzling Gleam is looking scary, but Hydro Steam is outspeeding. Can this just KO? No Sash. Oh, you Sash. You son of a biscuit. You son of a biscuit. You're Sash. You are Sash. Kind of hurts the soul. We're going to have to deal with the Dazzling Gleam. I do have Vest. And my Ho-Oh -O soaks. Beautiful. Ho-Oh -O soaking. That's huge. That is massive. That is massive. Now from here, Sacred Fire gonna fly through here. We get rid of the Flutter main, and now that's pretty much game, right? Well, Ho-Ho surviving this whole match. That's actually pretty incredible. That thing is bulky. Especially with that Assault Vest. We versed a lot of special attackers. This thing's just staying on the field. And honestly, it has Regenerator as its ability too, so I could have swapped it out and got more HP. But this thing just thrived out there. Ho-Ho chilling. He's chilling. Now we get to bring out our Flutter Main back out onto the field. We have Zapdos really low on HP. I'm just going to throw a Sacred Fire on top of that. Going to go into a Moon Blast. And that is going to be the game. The battle is canceled. Moving on to match number two. And we're actually going up against a dope Zamazetta team. They got Zamazetta. They got Lycanroc. They got Noivern. That Pokemon's so sick. Scissor, Mudsdale, and Armor Rouge. So we definitely want to set Sun here. Whether it be with our Hitman top or with our... Or with our Tornados. Who would I rather go into here. I mean, speed's not really a problem for us, considering we have really fast Pokemon. But I feel as our problem's going to be Mudsdale, that Pokemon's a little bit of an issue, and Armourouge with Flash Fire. So honestly, Walking Wake is a must to bring in here. But I'm going to bring Sunsetter, I'm going to lead Walking Wake. Actually, should I lead Ho-Oh? No, I'm going to lead Walking Wake. No, I'm going to lead Ho-Oh, I lied. So we're going to go in with Hitmontop. I don't want this thing to die. I think I'd rather go in with you. Just play it safe. These two Pokemon 
bring Walking Wake in the back end, and then last but not least, it's either Fluttermane or Ogre Pond here. And looking at their team, Ogre Pond's solid, because they got a lot of Steel types, but dealing with the arm is just a problem. I mean, we have EQ. I mean, yeah, we're going to go Ogre Pond here. We are going to go Ogre Pond. I like the grass typing on it as well. The grass typing is just solid, right? Especially going, when going up against like Mudsdale, we'll be neutral to any ground moves. Something that's really nice, so. Let's see who they end up leading here. I think they could end up leading Noivern to maybe set the Tailwind, but we do have Tornado's as well, which is solid. So I might either just set the, the Sunny Day or set the Tailwind turn one, depending on who they lead. It's going to be Noivern alongside with Mudsdale. Mudsdalian. And the good thing about Ho, flying type. It's a flying type. So no ground moves allowed. So from here, you know what? I'm just going to pop a Sunny Day, and Sacred Fire is going to fly into this Mudsdale. I know you have Stamina. I could go Grass Terror if I want to. Um. Yeah, I'm going to go Sunny Day, Sacred Fire. Let's just get some damage output here. Hopefully this isn't Stamina Mudsdale. Hopefully it's like Own Tempo or something like that. We just don't feel like dealing with Stamina Boost in Mudsdale. But I mean, in that case, again, Walking Wake can just come in the back end. Bang, bang with uh, Hydro Steam. That move is insane in the sun. And it's just going to KO it. But let's see what they end up doing. I think they end up going for a Tailwind. Which is fine by me. I actually want them to go for a Tailwind. Because they go for a Tailwind this turn, we could stagger it and have it later. But he's going to end up withdrawing Mudsdale. Mudsdale with the withdrawal here. And who are you going to go into? You're going to go into Zamazetta. And this is even better for us. That's a Steel-type Pokemon. That's a Steel-type Pokemon. It does have a defense boost, so it's going to be rather bulky. But I don't mind it. That's a Steel-type Pokemon. So that happens. Super Fang's going to end up flying. Half an HP. I don't mind that at all. Sacred Fire going to connect. And we almost dump on Zamazetta. That could have been big time. That could have been big time. So now we want the Tailwind out and about. We are going to go Tailwind and... Do I just EQ? Nah, I think we just stay with Sacred Fire into Zamazetta. We don't really feel like dealing with that. Especially because Noivern kind of looks like it's not doing too much here. Super Fanging. That's fine. I actually don't want it to Super Fang my Ho-Oh. That's a lot of HP. Because Ho-Oh is in like the two... Like close to 220s. 110 HP for Super Fang. That's a bit too much. Bit too much that I don't, I don't want to deal with. So now they're sitting in a weird position. They're like, hey, I just took some big time damage with Zamazetta. I don't like this one bit. So we end up setting up Tailwind. Ho-Oh can now outspeed the Zamazetta. Luckily, they didn't protect that thing. And we'll say bye-bye to him. So Ho-Oh taking over. Let's go. I still have to showcase Zamazetta. I do have a Zamazetta team ready to go. But I think I'm going to showcase Ho-Oh and then maybe Lugia next. And kind of go from there. But from here, he's going to end up sending up a Tailwind just like us. And I'm cool with this. I'm cool with this. Ho-Oh's just... He's just chilling here. He's just chilling here. So let's see who they bring out here. It is going to be Lycanroc. Now, Lycanroc, I don't really like to deal with here. But honestly, I'm still just going to go... Do I just swap? I mean, I'd rather just let my my uh, Tornadus die out here. Because if they're going to go for Rock Slide, they can go for Rock Slide. So I'm going to do this. And I'm gonna just going to do Terrastalize. And I'm going to Terra Blast. Because Rock Slide would be four times super effective in the Ho-Oh. So honestly, Grass Terra working pretty clutch here. Pretty clutch, because ho is just like Charizard. It gets hit by a rock move, it's a goner. Four times super effective, it's not surviving most of the time. There's like a 99% chance that it's not surviving any rock move. So, we're going right into the grass terror type. We're not overthinking this. I have Pokemon to deal with the Mudsdale, to deal with the, uh... To deal with the Noivern in the back end. And we'll go from here. So, a Cell Rock comes out here. Perfect, no Rock Slide either. Super Fang's gonna fly. I don't like that. Look how much damage that's doing. That's a lot of damage. That's a bit too much damage. Liquid Storm's gonna fly here and. Lycanroc dodges. I'm hoping Lycanroc is not sashed. If you're sashed, you're gonna survive this and I'm gonna be a little upset. So let's see. It's not sashed. Beautiful. So Ho Oh's just killing it right now. <clears throat> Ho Oh is just killing it. Come on, man. Ho Oh's teeing off. I love Sacred Fire. I love Sacred Fire. It's just, it's just so nice. So Mudsdale now comes out here. And we can just go for a Bleak Wind Storm. And furthermore, we could just Terra Blast if we want to. Or I could go into a Sacred Fire. What would do more damage? You got Sacred Fire in the Sun. With Stab Boost. Or Terra Blast. With Stab Boost and Super Effective. I think Terra Blast actually does a bit more damage. Not gonna lie. So I'm gonna stick with Terra Blast. I'm gonna stick with Terra Blast. Terra Blast flying. We still have our Tornadus on the field, but that's fine. I just need a couple sun turns with my other Pokemon, but I think we should be fine regardless. Ogre Pond, great Pokemon. And Walking Wake. 
Should be chilling. But they're going to Terrasilize the Mudsdale here. Oh no, the Noivern. Wow. The Noivern's going to get the Terra Titan. This thing's going to go straight Dragon. It's going to go straight Dragon. Straight Dragon Noivern. Bleakwind Storm's going to double connect. Not bad damage. And we get a speed drop onto Mudsdale. And it is stamina boosted, which is eh. We don't like that. We don't like that. But now we end up going for a beautiful Terra Blast. How much damage is this doing? Good chunk. That's, that's, that's a great chunk there. So now defense is boosted plus two. I got special attackers in the back end. Dragon Pulse is going to fly here. And this might KO my ho -Oh. We do have Vest. Oh my god. This thing is a bulk. This thing is a bulk. It's such a bulk. But Heavy Slam is going to finish this off. Heavy Slam finishes this off. Okay, so no problem. Don't mind it one bit. I kind of wish I had Fluttermane here. Not going to lie. This Fluttermane could just come in here. Daz will gleam and finish this one up. No problem. But I am gonna, just going to bring out Walking Wake at this point. So Walking Wake onto the field. Um, we got Protosynthesis. We'll get that speed boost. No problem. This thing's flying now. And from here, we'll just go for Bleak Wind Storm. And furthermore, we will just go for a Dragon Pulse into you. Just to finish the Noivern off. Because the last thing I want is for me to attack Mudsdale and Noivern just to pop like a Draco Meteor. Take out my Walking Wake. So we'll just play it safe. We'll just play it safe. Get rid of the Noivern. And this should be match number two. It should be over unless we miss our Bleak Wind Storm. Unless we miss our precious little Bleak Wind Storm. But I got full faith in my Tornados. This is my dog. This is my dog right here. Watch this. Bleak Wind Storm, when I ask, when I need it, my boys got me. When I need it, my boys got me. This is my dog right here. This is my dog. I told you guys, this is my dog. Let's go. There it is. Match number two. Going us. We're sitting 2-0. Let's go grab ourselves a perfect record in match number three. Final match coming at you guys. And this one is going to be a tough one. This might do us in. It's a weather war. And it's going to be a tough one. They got Kyogre. They got Tornadas. Two Pokemon to set the rain. We have two Pokemon to set the sun. We definitely want to bring in our Tornadas. Because that is going to be our best Pokemon for setting the weather. So I'm going to go into him. I am going to also go into Walking Wake. Because this Pokemon can thrive out in the rain too. It works both ways. We're going to go into Fluttermane. And last but not least, we are going to go into Ho-Oh. This is going to be the squad. This is who I want. Let's see how it works out. Again, if Kyogre gets the best of us, it's okay. We grab ourselves a winning record regardless because we're 2-0. And, and I feel like we already fully showcased Ho-Oh. Use all of its moves. We picking up KOs with Brave Bird. EQ doing big damage in match number one. Sacred Fire. You guys seen it plenty of times. And uh, Terra Blast. We even used Terra Blast in the last match. Working wonderful. But yeah, this team right here looking scary because our Chaludon's already OP. Kyogre top tier. We just got problems. We got problems here. We got problems. I'm kind of scared of Lando, too. Lando could be a huge threat to us. Lando just does big damage. Sheer Force Life Orb. It's hard to escape that damage. It's hard to actually just soak those damage. But honestly, Ho-Oh being a flying type, wonderful. Those Earth Power not touching us. Not touching us. So we'll see who they want to lead here. Um, I think they're going to lead either Kyogre or Tornadus, right? And it's going to be Tornadus. So they could just set rain early on here. We're going to go Walking Wake. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And from here, do I set Tailwind or do I set Sunny Day? I could maybe taunt you. Actually, what is your speed? Can I just taunt that thing and have it not set rain? Your speed's slow. Taunt's just not going to help us. But I mean, if I taunt it here... If I taunt it here, it can only set up either Tailwind or Sunny Day. This is tough. This is tough. Because if you go for Electro Shot, it's a problem. I think I just played safe and set Sunny Day. I think I just played safe and set Sunny Day. Because if you go for Tailwind, you go for Tailwind. It's not that big of a deal. Um, yeah, I'm just going to play it safe, pop Sunny Day, and I'm just going to go into a Dragon Pulse in this slot. So he ends up withdrawing Arch Ludon. That's fine. You going into Kyogre? Yeah, it's, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I'll, take, I'll, I'll, I'll deal with that. I'll deal with that. So Sunny Day is actually working perfectly. You taunt me first. Come on, man. I was going to do that to you, but my mine was too slow. Mine was too slow. Now I can't go for Sunny Day. Now you got weather going crazy. Now you got weather going crazy. This is going to be tough. One. Now I lose some HP. I am kind of forced to hard swap. We're not. It's because we're going to lose this match regardless if we don't get weather control. We're going to lose this regardless if we don't get weather control. So I'm either just going to go into a Draco Meteor here. Or do I go into... A hydro seam just get rid of you. I'm gonna go into a hydro seam. 
That's so tough, man. That's so tough, because that sunny day was so perfect, too. That sunny day was going to work wonders. So we're going into Sashed. We're Sashing up. We're going to be able to go for Hydro Steam here. And Hydro Steam not doing enough damage. She just went for a Draco Meteor. She just Draco Meteor to Kyogre. See if we can get rid of it. And now they're going for Bleak Wind Storm to get rid of my Sash. This is not looking good for me. It's just not looking good. It's just simply not looking good. So where's your pulse going to finish this off? Actually, Walking Wake eats. Walking Wake soaks. Now they face a little bit of a problem here. Now they face a little bit of a problem. Hold up. Now they're facing a tad bit of a problem. Now they face a problem. Is it... The problem here is I can either pop Sunny Day. They either have to taunt me or go for a Tailwind. So I'm going to go Sunny Day and I'm just going to go Drake, Drake a Meteor and try to finish off Kyogre here. He's going to still taunt me. That's fine because Walking Wake out speeds now get rid of Kyogre. So no more Sunny Days. Ice Beam going to fire. And actually, you're outspeeding. I thought I outsped last turn. That's fine. Walking Wake not playing around. Drake a Meteor fine. This thing lives on one. He lives on one. It's just not good. Not good. <laughs> not good at all. We'll go for Bleak Wind Storm, and I guess we'll just go for Dragon Pulse. But this is just... This match is washed. After that taunt did a sturdy, it was game. It was game. After that taunt went in. After that taunt. But we can't get swept. That's the rules. Origin Pulse. Gonna miss somebody. We're not getting swept. We love it. We love it. We're not getting swept here. I'll actually pick up a double K. Hold up. We have a shot at this. We actually have a shot at this. Because I'll pick up a double KO here. This match is not washed yet. Hold up. I mean, they do have Archer loot on. Oh, man. I can't set the sun. I would love to just get the sun going here. Just to take away all the weather. But that taunt doing me dirty. That taunt doing me dirty. But I got Ho-Oh. I need the sun, man. I need the sun. I need the sun. And we might have to just tear a grass here. It's Archer loot on. That's a problem. That's probably I need the I need the sun more than anything. The sun, like I need it. I need it and I can't have it. It's just tough news. You're taunted for one more turn. If I can go one more turn, that'd be massive. But I gotta go for Bleak Wind Storm here. I most likely have to terrestrialize you. Because if you're going for a lecture shot, it's gonna be a problem. And I'm just gonna go for an EQ. But let's be honest, EQ's gonna gonna do the most damage into into Archer Ludon. And now comes a Terra. Who's Terrasalizing? It's gonna be Tornadus. We're not Tornadus. Landers. Landers gonna Terrasalize into Poison type. This actually works better because now EQ hits it and it's super effective. So EQ coming out from Ho Oh. We got a shot here. We got a shot. Unless you're going into a Sludge Bomb into my Ho Oh, then <laughs> it's a little bit of a problem now. But I just didn't want to take uh, a Lecture shot. And honestly, it looks like he's going for Sludge Bomb into my Ho Oh. Yeah, I don't like this game one bit. Let's see what else one plays out here. So that's why I'm going to fire. Go into Tornadus. No, it's going into ho -Oh. We're dead, aren't we? No, he soaks rather well. Big time soak. Electro shot flying out here. And who are you attacking here? Can you attack my Ho-Oh? Double down to my Ho-Oh. Do me a favor. Do me a solid. Double down to my Ho-Oh. Oh, man. I was going to say, you double down in the Ho-Oh here, I can get off Tailwind next turn and pick up some big time damage. So let's see how much damage this EQ... What's gonna do here? Let's see. And now, no, we couldn't. I was gonna say, if we half Archer loot on and we're able to kill it with two with two EQs, then we could have won if he would have attacked my Ho Oh. But yeah, now it's just over. Now it's just game set match. This thing's getting stamina boosted. But honestly, the taunts were what did a sturdy. Right? Yeah. I, was, I wasn't able to set up Tailwind, no sunny days, and after that, our opponent just took the game over. But 2-1, we'll take that winning record all day. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Ho-Oh thriving out in today's match. Well, I should say match number one and match number two. Match number three, the Kyogre Tornadus combo got the best of us and won the weather war. But hey, again, 2-1 winning record. Cannot go wrong with that. Ho-Oh doing big time damage with Sacred Fire. Terror Blast getting some love today. Same thing with EQ and Brave Bird. Every single move got some value and he just killed it. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.